Hey guys, it's Miss Kahigas here, and today I'm going to go through the checklist that you guys are going to be using when you guys are going to edit and publish your writing, okay? So if you want to go and get your writing now and kind of just look through that and have it ready, you can, and you can pause right here. If not, we can keep on going, okay? So if you want to go get your writing and all that stuff, you can pause right here. All right. So I'm going to show you the checklist that you guys will be using when you guys are getting ready to edit and publish your writing. So this is the checklist that you guys are going to use. And you just are going to go through all the sections of the checklist and you just are going to mark if you have not yet done that, if you're starting to do that, or if you have done that in your writing. This should look a little familiar because I know that we have used these when we were back in school. So this shouldn't be too unfamiliar. So first you guys are going to look to see if you have a beginning to your story. Just like last week, I was how made that video on how to make a really good beginning for our story, you guys, are going to go back and check and see if you have a nice strong beginning to your story and then you're going to mark off if you haven't done that yet if you're starting to do that or if you already have it then you guys are going to go down and come to this one and you guys are going to see if you have your pages in order and if you've used words such as and then and so so you're just going to check and see if your story has more than one page, if you have them all in order, if you have those transition words in there to know that you're going on to the next thought, anything like that. And again, you're just going to mark off, not yet, starting to, or yes, depending on what you have. Um, then you guys are going to check if you have an ending, a good ending to your story. Just like how I talked about in my video last week on um, how to make a really strong good ending, you guys are just going to check if you have that in your story as well. And again, you guys are going to check one of these three options. And then you're also going to see, I wrote my story across three or more pages. So you guys are just going to check to see if you have three or more pages in your story. And you're going to write. Just check off one of those three options. And then, let's see. Oh, I went too far, too far, too far. Uh, ooh, this key just went too far. There we go. Whew. So then next, you guys are going to check if you put any pictures um, on your page and adding those details. So like from, from the previous weeks, just like talking about, you know, having that image on the page so that your readers can help, so you can help your readers have a really good idea of what's happening. So like putting a picture, um, sometimes it could be like the little thought bubbles in your picture with like the little, what they're thinking or what they're saying, those little details like that. And then again, you're going to mark if you have it, if you just started to work on it, or if you have not yet started. And then you're also going to mark down if you have labels or words that give details. So that's our like sparkle words, the words that give pizzazz into our story so it helps our readers picture more about what's going on because sometimes the picture you know isn't gonna show everything that you're writing about so you know those sparkle words and pizzazzing it up you know is gonna really help us as readers picture what you're writing about so again you're gonna mark one of the three depending on where you are um i believe this is the final page so then you're also going to check if you used 
all you knew about the words and chunks of words to help you spell. So this is everything that you've learned so far with the spelling patterns and all that, like just checking over your work to see if everything is spelled correctly and whatnot. And you're just gonna, again, choose one of those three, depending on where you are. Um, you're also going to check if you spelled all your word ball words right and used word ball words to help you spell other words. So you're just going to go through your writing again and read through it. And every time you come across a word ball word, you're going to see if it's spelled right or if it helped you spell another word. And again, you're going to mark not yet, started to, or yes, if you have been. And then it's a big one, using punctuation in your sentences. So that's anything from a period, an explanation point, a question mark, even our cheese curls, our quotation marks, those are punctuation as well. So every time someone's talking, you use your cheese curls and you just mark them there. So you're just going to go back through your writing and you're going to see if you have those punctuations in there or not. And you're just going to mark one of these three again. And a really big and important one as well. Um, is you used capital letters for names in the beginning of your sentences um, and just had them in the right places. So there shouldn't be any random capitals anywhere, but your names of a person, names of certain places, um, and the beginning of your sentence should have capitals. So you're just going to go back and check and then mark if you don't have that, if you started to do that, or if you already have that. Um, and then you can also check if your story has a date in it, if, or like if you're listing things, if you used a comma in there as well. Um, and then you're just gonna mark one of those three options as well. And so that is the checklist that you guys will be using. Okay. So hopefully that's helped. This checklist is just for you guys to go back and check if you had that. If you do have, if you marked yes in your checklist that you did have that, you're kind of done with that unless you want to keep on polishing that up. Um, but if you don't marked anything that's not yet done or you're starting to do that, then you have, to, then you go back to your writing and you kind of keep on working on that. The goal is to have all your yeses marked in your checkbox. Um, and if you have any of the others, that just means that you have to go back and work on that, okay? All right, so I hope this helped. Go and check out Ms. Howe's video. She's gonna talk a little bit more about how you guys are gonna edit and publish by using one of her own writings. And I hope you guys are ready to publish your work. So off you go. Bye.